Hello and welcome. You saw in my previous video the data protector exploit without encrypted control communication. If you don't, click the label in the upper right corner. Now I will show you the data protector exploit with encrypted control communication if you don't have the latest data protector version. Now I will use ECC for DC01 and you can see I still use the data protector version 8.10. Let me first show you that the exploit from the previous video does not work because the communication is encrypted now. Here you see the payload execution but fails to execute it. Now for this exploit I use a Windows machine that does not need to be joined to the domain but you need to be in the same network. I will use Windows 7 that is in a work group. You need Python 2.7.9 for this exploit to run. In the Python script you can change the command being sent to the target. You can send commands like whose name, who am I, ipconfig, or you can launch your own custom files. I will first show you a simple command like who am I. To run the script, you just use the parameter dash e and the target IP. You see the response is anti authority system, so have anti authority system access. Now I will launch our custom exe file, which is a reverse TCP connection. Just make sure you use forward slashes and not backslashes because the script will fail with backslashes. I will set up a reverse TCP listener for this. So as soon as we launch the Python script, then the interpreter has been set with system credentials. So to prevent this exploit, you should upgrade your version. In my case, because I use version 8.10, I need to upgrade to version 8.15. 
For version 7 you need to upgrade to 7.03 build 108 and for version 9 upgrade to 9.06 I will fast forward the upgrade because this takes about 5 to 10 minutes So the upgrade is finished and you can see the installation server uses the version 8.15. Now for the clients I first need to upgrade them manually from the data protector GUI. And now this is version 8.15 also. Let's try this again with version 8.15 and as you can see I get an error so this doesn't work anymore. Data Protector has had so many security issues in the past and it's a matter of time that this version will be exploited. I thank you for watching this video and please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to see more videos.